Is she really wise? Hey everyone, what's up? Your boy Al is here with Spice and Wolf episode 15 review so let's jump into it. At first we see Lawrence visit Mark at his shop and ask for intel about Kumerson's Chronicler to inquire about Northern Tales and Legends. Mark suggests speaking with G.I. Batoes, who often communicates with the Chronicler, and offers to set up a meeting. Lawrence also asks Mark to get in contact with Northern Travelers for more information about Niohira, its location, and what it's like. Mark agrees to ask around. Lastly, Lawrence asks Mark for a contact who sells delicious bread. So it looks like Lawrence is finally trying to learn more about Hollow's past, which is a good thing, because in doing so he will be able to understand Hollow a lot better. Also Lawrence looking for bread for Hollow was sweet. We see Lawrence visit Hollow and give her some wheat bread, informing her that they'll have to wait before attending Kumerson's festival. He gives her some money and advises her to spend it wisely. Hollow, not wanting to explore Kumerson alone, asks to accompany him and promises to return the money if he agrees. Lawrence declines, explaining that he'll be busy. Hollow understands and plans to wander Kumerson alone, warning that she might bring some people back to their room and wants Lawrence to leave them alone if that happens. As Lawrence travels through Kumerson, it's revealed that a preacher previously mentioned a monstrous bear destroyed Hollow's homeland of Yuitsu. In the present, Lawrence visits a tavern to gather information and runs into Amadi. They have a drink together, and Lawrence thanks Amadi for his help, mentioning his plans to meet with G.I. Amadi expresses disappointment, as he wanted to show Lawrence around town. So if a bear destroyed Hollow's homeland then it kinda implies that the bear wasn't normal, because we can assume Hollow's homeland is or was filled with wolves like her, and we know she isn't a normal wolf by any means, so a normal bear wouldn't be able to destroy her homeland. Moving on we see Lawrence is unsure, but Amadi offers to extend the invitation to Hollow. Lawrence agrees, but warns Amadi about Hollow's awkward tendencies and mentions she might be roaming Kumerson. Amadi decides to check with the inn staff to see if she's there before departing. Moments later, G.I. arrives, and he and Lawrence go for a stroll. G.I. shares details about his past experiences and current goals, eventually leading Lawrence to a place that houses alchemists. Lawrence is uncertain about doing business with alchemists, but G.I. explains the types of supplies they typically purchase and assures him that only a few dabble in magic. G.I. reassures Lawrence that everything will be fine. They meet a female chronicler, and Lawrence asks if she knows where Dian Rubens is located. The lady reveals she is Dian Rubens but asks Lawrence to call her Diana. Lawrence and G.I. enter Diana's home, and Lawrence questions her about the northern lands, specifically Yuetsu. Diana seems to be a pretty interesting character, but I don't think she will be a major part of the story, which is a bit disappointing. Also the alchemist's part portrayed the theme of religion versus science nicely. Then we see Diana grab a book from her shelf and explain that Yuetsu was destroyed by a moon hunting bear called Arawa Wilmedhand. Lawrence clarifies that he only wants information on Yuetsu's location, not Arawa. Diana mentions a town called Linos and suggests Lawrence learn about Linos and the tale its people tell. The tale highlights Hollow's first encounter with Linos's people and the bountiful harvest she helped them achieve. From this tale, Lawrence learns that there are many mountains near Linos. To thank Diana, Lawrence shares a story with her. Later, Lawrence thanks G.I. for his help and visits Mark to see if he has any updates regarding his earlier requests. Lawrence informs Mark that he no longer needs information about Niohira and wants to travel to Linos instead. Mark understands and mentions that rumors have been circulating about Hollow and Amadi. Lawrence dismisses the rumors, stating that, to his knowledge, nothing is going on between Hollow and Amadi. When Lawrence returns to the inn, he finds Hollow in a poor state and notices that Amadi has bought her expensive items. He scolds her for not reciprocating Amadi's generosity. This part kinda confirms that Hollow's homeland was indeed destroyed by a bear, but the bear's name sounds more like a person's name, and that's making me even more curious about the incident. At the end we see that in the morning Hollow informs Lawrence about the fabricated story she told Amadi. 
Lawrence then holds up the gold die he found on the inn's floor. Hollow explains she got it from a fortune teller she and Amani visited, claiming the die can see through fate. Lawrence laughs and tells her it's a natural mineral called pyrite. Hollow admits she was impressed by the fortune teller's remarks and confirms Amadi used his money to bid for the pyrite. Suddenly, Land arrives at their room, telling Lawrence that Mark needs to see him immediately. Lawrence rushes to Mark's place. From the looks of things, I think the fortune teller was an alchemist, and they will most likely play some sort of part in this arc. Also, the cliffhanger is pretty interesting, and I'm guessing it has something to do with Hollow. Overall it was a pretty fascinating episode, and it touched upon some sensitive themes. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.